When preparing to use the spay hook to locate a uterus, begin by evaluating the hook available. Notice if the curvature of the hook correlates with the narrow or wide aspect of the handle, or whether the handle is round. This is important in order to be aware of the orientation of the hook within the patient. The next step is using thumb forceps to grasp the body wall. Whichever side the surgeon chooses to attempt location of the uterus is the side of the incision that will be held. An easy way to grasp body wall without accidentally grasping underlying tissues is to insert the spay hook in the caudal edge of the incision and apply caudal and upward traction. This will pull the body wall away from the omentum and other abdominal organs so that only the body wall is obtained. While applying a moderate amount of upward traction to the body wall, introduce the spay hook with the hook facing cranially. Then, starting near the incision, press the hook against the abdominal wall and slide the hook downward, staying against the wall, toward the patient's dorsum. When the hook reaches the dorsum of the patient, apply lateral traction to the body wall in order to orient the spay hook as perpendicularly as possible to the patient's dorsum. Then, rotate the handle medially toward the patient's midline and begin a very gentle slide or bounce towards midline. When midline is reached, slowly begin to bring the hook towards the incision using a gentle rocking or pivoting motion to release any intestinal tract that may be caught in the hook. Continue upward traction on the body wall with thumb forceps. When the hook is visualized, gently remove the retrieved tissue, layer by layer, by picking it up and over the spay hook. Thumb forceps may be carefully used for this step unless intestinal tract is present on the hook. Place the tissue not associated with the reproductive tract back inside the abdomen. Be cautious of tearing, poking holes in, or otherwise damaging tissue. Look for the uterine horn or broad ligament. If either of these structures are identified, gently grasp the structure between the thumb and first finger.